Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Goldstream Park here on Thursday. It is January the 7th, 2016. Gonna look at race number 8. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections. Today's 8th race is allowance optional claim or purse $46,000 for Phil's Mayors, 4 year and upwards, number 1. Two races other than main claim starter restricted allowance, which number 1. Three races are claim price 62 and a half. We have a field of 10 horses traveling 1 mile and 8th on the turf course. The rail will be set out 84 feet. That might change, because they actually changed the rail position for Wednesday's card. It was originally scheduled for uh, uh, 84 feet set up, but they switched it to 96, so it might be 96 out. Um, we have, like I said, 10 horses going to post. I'm going to do a 50 cent try in this race. I'm going to key in on the 4 horse, who is my top selection, who is Bishop's Pond. Underneath, I'm going to box the 5-7. It's going to cost you a dollar for 50 cents, but number 4, Bishop's, Bishop's Pond. 4 to 1, Javier Castellano. Chad Brown tra uh, trains this one. Hasn't started since November the 12th at Aqueduct and Moth Rates and Yielding Turf Course, an optional 6 2 claimer. Um, finished fifth by 17 and a half lengths that day. He just had no impact that day. Um, I, I don't know what happened. Uh, did he not like the turf? Um, that's the thing. Because the other time he ran on an off turf course um, was November the 9th of 2014 at Aqueduct, or maybe just in, like Aqueduct, I don't know. He finished eighth that day. Um, the first career start also. Um, the start fourth, I was at Belmont about three eights on October 16th, an optional 6-2 claim room. Finished fifth by one and a half lengths that day. It was closing up that day, but, um, uh, closing up a little bit. Um, he still had, uh, you know, some weary problems. Cutting back to mile eighth, which should be perfect for this horse. Um, last time this horse ran at mile eighth was at Monmouth and, uh, grade three stakes. Finished fourth by three and a quarter lengths against a little tougher horses that day. Um, the horse's last win actually came at Saratoga, mile 316, July 24th, the launch race for 85 grand, one by three quarters of length that day. He was just in charge that day. Has two starts over this turf course at Goldstream Park. Um, has one third. That was uh, January 1st, 2015, the mile and the eighth, same distance as today. Finished third by three quarters of length. It was rallying up that day. I think the way this race is set up, I think the source should really do well here. Four to one. Has a workout. Palm Meadows, four phone workout, 50 and two. 45th best out of 58. Just to get the horses like stretched, I guess. So going to go with this one. So, recap my bets for Race and Break from Goldstream Park. Gonna go with the four horses, my top selection. Uh, underneath, I'm gonna box the 5 7 for a 50 cent try. It's gonna cost you $1. So, good luck to all. Follow me on Twitter, Horse Racing Get 5. Look, good luck, everyone.